Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of my Halo Megablocks haul. You can check part 1 where we start to take apart all the figures and vehicles inside, but now we're going to build everything. It's going to take quite a while. I don't even know if all the pieces are here, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. And hey, I've already built a bubble shield, so we're 1% of the way there. Let's get going. Okay, everybody, welcome to day three. Um, it's been a pretty crazy roller coaster so far. As you can see, I'm mostly focusing on building the elephant, and then I'm gonna see where I can go from there. I've had to borrow some pieces from my collection, but mostly it's complete, so I'm feeling good about today. Hopefully, I'll get most of these vehicles built. Hey everybody and welcome to day four. I think it I think it's day four, maybe. Um, it's been a bit of a pain so far, but we have finished the UNSC elephant. And it's 100% complete. Now, um, I had to replace a few of the bricks with my own personal collection. And I started by wanting to just put everything together as it was pre-constructed. But it got so complicated, I just gave up. And as I'm sure you saw from a lot of the footage... When it gets to about midday here in England, the sun is so bright on the screen I can't see. And also, the, 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 the instructions are so blurred and you never know what pieces are being used where. So it's been, a, it's been a bit of a pain, but I've got it done and it's 100% complete, so I'm very happy with it. But we've got to move on to bigger projects. Ugh! And I have to finish all of this nonsense sometime. I gotta give my family back to space eventually. So, oh, oh so. <laughs> the macro. Oh, the macro. Oh, it went in the macro. 
So what I was trying to say was that um, I'm moving on to the Pelican next and now it's suddenly a much bigger job than it was a few days ago. I got the instructions here, I'm going to keep on going on the green train, build a warthog and a mongoose as well. Let's just see how I do, let's get it, get it in the dock. Number two, this was a lot less difficult than the elephant, of course, a much smaller build and I didn't take it mostly apart. The frustrating thing with this is the original owner seems to have repurposed or tried to rebuild things. I think it's like the classic thing when you buy holes that he would have built it properly originally, thrown away the instructions, then accidentally broken the vehicle and tried to rebuild it. So one of the wings was completely built wrong, so I had to redo it using a lot of my own bricks, but it's 100% complete. Let's go on to the next one. I guess we're gonna try and get a mongoose and a warthog done. <laughs> Goodness me, everybody, that has been a very productive morning. Way better than the last couple of days. I'm so impressed and so happy with how far this has come. Ugh, currently working on a Wolverine. But over here, we've got two original warthogs, a rocket hog that needs the turret fixing. Then we've got the elephant and the pelican, an AA gun, and a mongoose. Now we're pretty much just gonna finish off the Wolverine and get onto the Covenant vehicle.
well, well, ladies and gentlemen. Day five. I think it's day five. I'm losing track now. This has been an enormous project, but something that I'm very excited about because we already have over nine hours of footage or something ridiculous like that. So I think this is going to turn out really cool. And also, almost everything is complete. And I do not mean complete from the lot I bought it with. I mean complete because I added all of my own pieces and eventually jumbled it all together. We've got a pelican here, 100% complete. Then we've got an AA gun, a wolverine, mongoose, two warthogs, an AA gun, or a little AA gun, a little turret that comes with the original wraith, and the elephant. To be honest, just being able to put this together from that box that I showed in the first haul is pretty wild and it's not finished yet. I really hope I'll finish it today. I'm pretty close. I've sorted all the remaining bricks into colors here and really we've just got to make some slight modifications to the rhino and the falcon. We've got to put together the revenant, the short sword, cryo bay, uh, locus, a few other things, but I'm feeling pretty confident. Let's see how we do. It's wild actually. Um, this was so easy to make the Space Banshee out of the bucket that we had. I'm now getting all the pieces together and I think using my own collection I'll just be able to make a second one because I've seen all these pieces while I've been sorting. Let's see how it works out. I can't believe I built another one. <laughs> that didn't take you long, guys. No.
uh, about a week later, this this turned out to be probably the biggest project I've ever worked on video-wise, which blows my mind because I just bought the haul thinking it would be a quick turnaround video, but then I got so nitpicky on making sure all this is perfect, and it just turned into like the longest thing ever, especially the fact that I decided to make this live stream. This thing all kicked off in a major way, but um, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, if you made it through the live stream, I would like to know in the comments how much of it you watched. I'm very interested to see what the response is for the live stream, so let me know down below. And yeah, I mean, look at it. It's literally all complete. I, it's crazy. That bucket looked like shrapnel. It looked like fairy dust. But I mean, I used a lot of my personal collection and I couldn't have done it without all the organization I've been doing recently with my family on that. And yeah, keep an eye out in the future for an eBay listing. I'm going to be putting most of this on, not the elephant, I'm going to keep that one. But yeah, I'm going to go stretch my back out and lie down. Hope you all enjoyed. See you next time. Who's off? Oh, who's signing off? Um... The... Oh wait, where is he? Where? That's a good question. Here he is. Um, the no-legged marine has actually become very, very popular on... Oh no, he's no-armed marine now. R.I.P. no-legged, no-armed marine. He became very popular on the comments, so no-legged, no-armed marine is signing off. Maybe we should give him a name. Did someone say Chip's Duo? Something like that. Yeah, signing off.